Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Get that. Get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. 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 Good day everyone, I am Benjamin Evans and this is The Decision, the show where we highlight some of SBI superstars who have been tried through the fire and who are ready to show off some of that corporate America uh, venom. Oh, can we do that again? Good day, everyone. I am Benjamin Evans, and this is The Decision, the show where we highlight some of SVI superstars who have been tried through the fire and who are ready to show up that Rattler venom in corporate America. Today, we have a very special guest all the way from West Africa, Ishmael Sarange, who is a member of the Alpha Kappa Psi Business Fraternity Incorporated and also the Global Student Union. He is a senior and he's ready to graduate. Please welcome to uh, the show, Mr. Ishmael Sarange. My pleasure. Can you say your whole name? Make sure I, I got that right. Ismail Sangare. Yes, Sarange. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so how did you get here from West Africa? Well, you know, uh, in the summer of 2005, I came to Tallahassee and I attended a, 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 a high school here. It's actually a small Catholic high school in Tallahassee, John Paul II. I'm okay. not sure if you know of it. No. So, you know, I went to John Paul II. I graduated in, in the summer, I mean, in the spring of 07. Okay. I then attended Tallahassee Community College. Okay. And when I graduated with my AA, I decided that SBI was the best place for me to be. So that's now, how I got here. Now, my first question uh, was going to be, before I got into West Africa, is what is going on with this hair? Well, you know, what, what through these colors, right? It is, it is is a product of personal reward, right? I, you know, I sacrificed early on. You know, worked hard, was professional. You know, while my friends were going crazy. So this is a little bit of me having fun my senior year. Mm -hmm. And you know, now that I have a job, I feel like I can do these things and you know have some fun with myself. And these colors are actually the colors of my country. So you have an orange. And the middle is supposed to be white, but that's a little hard to do. And you have a green on the other side. So, so um, you do plan on taking that back to black. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> on, on April 27th, uh, that will be no more. Okay, yeah. When I first saw you, I said, I don't think Dr. Ashley is going to appreciate right. those Right. <laughs> absolutely. Has anybody said anything to you? Well, you know, it, it, there's a wide range of emotions, you know, from appreciation <laughs> to pure disdain. So, you know. I think I'm in the middle. In the middle. Right, that's, that's fair enough for me. That's good enough. So tell us about your uh, FAMU experience. What are, because I've been to conferences, you were there, you were doing very well, we've crossed many paths together. Uh, what has been the most beneficial about uh, being here in Tallahassee and at SBI? You know, for me, you know, at first, you know, I have many friends that, for example, went to Florida State business you know, or other schools. But, you know, I really wanted to do my personal diligence. And uh, I, I came here around the time where our dean was still the interim dean and she was being selected as the dean. And I came to this open house, you know, and I'm sitting there and she's, you know, uh, laying down her vision for the school and what's going on. And I said, you know, this is a very dynamic leader. I think this is where I want to be. This is where I'm going to get a job. This is where I'm going to get my education. So that's how I made my decision here. And it's been, uh, it's been a fun ride. It's been a good ride. And I'm really appreciative and grateful of this school. Um, I've had the opportunity of doing things that I know I would have not been able to do at many other places. So it's nothing but positives. Now you've been a part of case teams, case competitions. Why don't you tell us about those for those students who uh, may not either know about them or who desire to be a part of a case competition. Just give us one example. Right. So, you know, I'm big on taking the theories and getting an opportunity to, you know, put them down and practice them and really competing, you know, going against somebody else and who knows best, who has the best idea we can execute, you know, and really, you know, when you have all that pressure, how, how do you perform? So, you know, uh, my latest case, you know, was with uh, of uh, BEEP. I don't know if you're familiar with that organization. BEEP is the Black Executive Exchange, Exchange Program. Program. You see, yes. here you are. With you know. the National Urban League. Absolutely. Very, familiar. Very correct. So my, my latest competition was with them, and it was in Orlando. So we flew out there, and uh, you know, it was about, it was a more of a human resource uh, kind of team. Okay. Uh, so we competed about how to better recruit millennials for Sodexo, which was that company. It was a fun case. And uh, on other cases, you know, you don't, you know, you don't really compete in one discipline. It can be something that's very new to you. Mm -hmm. And you learn from somebody that may be really an expert in human resources, has, has a focus there. And you learn more, you know, in uh, more of my later classes that I've taken, especially business policy right now, 
the first few weeks, I knew about all the matrices and all that that we learned because right. I was on cases where previously the people were on the team that had taken business policy before. And so, you know, they say, hey, we're going to do an EFE matrix. And I'm like, I don't know what this is, but I learned before. So coming into that class, I had a lot of experience. And I think it's a very good thing to be able to kind of step out of your comfort zone and, you know, do those competitions and put yourself out there. It's a, lo it's a little bit more work, but it's completely worth it. So you're saying cases help you in your future classes. Oh, yeah, because absolutely. Because you learned about EFE matrix. And I, and I have to agree, uh, when I was on a case uh, team, uh, I learned about some things, and now I'm doing it in business policy right, as well. Right, right. So uh, what advice would you have for a, a student who wants to be on case competition? Because you've been on several. Some have been on none. And they're mm -hmm. approaching you know, their senior year. They're getting ready to get out of here and haven't yet to have that experience. Right. I think you know, it's really an experience that everybody needs to have at least once. You know, the opportunities are here. Uh, you know, there's actually more opportunities than people willing to, you know, take the risk and re, you know, uh, go and compete. But you normally learn about yourself in terms of, you know, how to present yourself, how to be able to analyze things and present things. You learn about what people on the other side want, you know, I know what judges look like. So the fact that I know kind of what my employer is going to look for me to do, you know, I know what my interviewer is going to look for me to do. You get to meet a lot of people. You get to have exposure to people you would never think of, you know. Even if you're trying to get access to the dean, the dean comes sometimes to this she press does. competition. <laughs> so, you know, you, you get all that exposure, all Absolutely. that knowledge, that experience of being able to perform, you know, when all the pressure is there. You, get, you learn presentation skills. There's no better way to learn than to do, right? So, yep. uh, you know, if you've never done it before, uh, do it. Just do it. <laughs> Just do Just it. Do it. <laughs> no no better way ahead. to do it. That's yeah. one of my slogans I use. Mm -hmm. You want to do better? Just, just better. Do, right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So tell everybody where you will be taking all of those competitive skills uh, and knowledge that you uh, gained while being at Florida a and I am Ismael Sangare, a senior accounting student from Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire. In this summer of 2012, I will be taking my talents to Ernst & Young in New York City. And the decision? And the decision has been made. <laughs> So you uh, will be going to Ernst Young as a senior, um, and you're opting not to uh, get your master's right away. What's the decision, uh, deciding factor behind that? Uh, I believe that right now, at this point in my life, you know, I'm still young. So I think that uh, what would be, you know, the, the better, you know, benefit, you know, for lack of a better word, for me, for, would be for me to get that experience, you know, okay. that big four experience, get it on your resume, and you know. I think it's going to help me get into maybe a good master's program somewhere. It's going to, you know, help me pay for it also, you know. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that go into it. But I felt that if I'm going into the consulting side of a business, and that's what ultimately I want to do. So if I had that opportunity and I could do it as a senior without my CPA because it's not required as a consultant, if I could do it, I might as well, you know, go for it. Why right. wait? So I said, you know, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to get that experience. And later down the line, I fully intend to get a CPA, fully intend to get a master's degree, fully intend to get an MBA. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank Congratulations you, to you. Thank you, sir. And much success over at Ernst & Young. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, well, there you have it, folks. Mr. Ishmael Sadangay from West Africa will be taking his talents to Ernst & Young as a senior from Florida a and University. I'm your host, Benjamin Evans. This has been The Decision. And remember to keep on networking because it's not about who you know, but who knows you because the decision could be yours. Let's <laughs> go.